rights. So we know both parties want women to remain second class citizens. And in terms of the, um, you know, the issue, the trans issue, I think we ought to be very clear that um, neither party supports keeping women in second class citizenship because they want to keep women safe in bathrooms. You know, that's that's not what they're thinking about. In the wake of the Supreme Court's decision in Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization, while the Democrats were weaponizing our interest in women's bodily integrity as a fundraising and get out the vote strategy, the Green Alliance for Sex-Based Rights inaugurated its new political education series with a panel discussion featuring our, our own co-chair, Ann Menashe, and impact litigator, Wendy Murphy. They just want women to remain second-class citizens, period. The Democrats raised money on women's grief, distracting us with useless strategies like revoking ratification deadlines, which had lapsed four decades ago. Gaspar hosted a conversation exploring why those deadlines have no force of law to begin with under any honest reading of the U.S. Constitution. And the real reason is because there's an enormous amount of money being made from women's inequality, especially in the trillion dollar porn and sex trafficking industries that depend on women's legal subjugation to maintain high profit margins. It's always about money. I think we know right. that, right? You don't yes. have to be that yes. sophisticated to know that it's always about money, period. Register today for the next events in our series of virtual panel discussions. On August 27th, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern and 3 p.m. Pacific, we host a conversation posing the question, can the Green Party be salvaged for feminism? Our panel will bring together canceled Greens from across the English-speaking world to discuss the global assault on feminism and our feminist political party. Uh, neither major political party supports women's full citizenship and full equal rights under any law, period. They just don't. We know this because, as Ann pointed out, both the Trump and Biden administrations fought against the ERA after it was ratified by the last necessary state in January 2020. Our panelists include Emma Bateman, co-chair, Green Women for the Green Party of England and Wales. But perhaps even saying nothing will not protect me. Because for some inclusive intersectionalists, being Posey Parker adjacent <laughs> is deemed to be literal violence. <laughs> I want to stress that when I say adjacent, I mean actually physically being here <laughs> with you wonderful women, rather than that we share exactly the same views on everything. Because I want to clarify for, that for those people who are muddled about what the terms literal and actual mean <laughs> and who believe that every time someone says men are not women, a person with fairy pronouns literally dies. Only days after her 2022 re-election by a wide margin in the second round of balloting, after earning the support of more than 40% of caucus members in the first round, Ms. Bateman was suspended from the party. As a vocal proponent of women's rights, she had become a target for the party's gender ideologists. The Trump and Biden administrations, they not only fought against it in my lawsuit and in the other lawsuit, they both blocked it. And, they are, and, and Biden is still blocking it today. Ms. Bateman will be joined by Anna Kerr, attorney at the Feminist Legal Clinic in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Ms. Kerr has voted green her entire adult life and been a long-term member of her state party. A report of a conflict resolution committee recommended that her membership with Green's NSW, quote, be terminated immediately, unquote, because her advocacy for the rights of women and girls. We really do need separate spaces. We need those safe spaces, whether it's bathrooms or hospital wards or prisons. We really do need, um, domestic violence refuges, safe rooms in courthouses, we'll, women's health services, political quotas, scholarships. We also need to prevent stalking, harassment, male violence. We need effective law enforcement and all of these things that stop this kind of violent offending from taking place. Quote, cause distress and hurt to other members and that her public protests breached accepted standards of behavior expected of members, unquote. 
could he actually make the ERA part of our constitution? Well, he said he supports it. I saw a statement that said he supports it, send him money. We aren't that dumb. We are not that dumb. If we had better leadership, more of us would be less dumb. And that is a really important piece of what we're missing is effective leadership and pulling people away from the propped up, corrupted, co-opted women's groups that just magnetically attract money like they're doing something important rather than undermining my equality. Joining our guests from the UK and Australia is Hugh Esco, a founding member of the Georgia Green Party, four-time candidate for public office, who now serves as the Secretary of Gaspar. He sponsored the Georgia Party's endorsement of the Declaration of Women's Sex-Based Rights. When, in 2020, the state party convention amended its platform to ratify that endorsement, he and the Georgia Party came under a withering attack, which resulted, by the summer of 2021, in the ejection of the Georgia Party from the Green Party of the United States for its, quote, public statements demonstrating bigotry against transgender people, unquote. And I'm not suggesting we be violent about it, but we certainly have to be militant. And there's no other choice but militancy, right? Join us, please, on August 27th, 6 p.m. Eastern and 3 p.m. Pacific. You won't want to miss Can the Green Party Be Salvaged for Feminism? That directive under that came from the Trump administration, Bill Barr in particular, is still in place. Biden could mm, remove it right. with, a, with a pickup of a phone, you know, just remove it because he's the head of the executive branch. And the archivist is an executive right. branch official who reports to Biden. It's a phone call away getting the, mm. the, the ERA in the constitution. Biden has the power and he's refused to act and he's trying to blame Congress. It's a bunch of nonsense. And after you register for this event, please sign our petition to President Biden demanding that he instruct the archivist to do her job and publish the ERA. It's a phone call away.